atomic structure subscribe to my youtube channel and my name is Mukhtar Aliyu if this is the first time you are coming please subscribe so uh, what is atomic structure atomic structure is a phenomenon that try to describe the structure of the atom the atom is made up of two major parts the shell and the nucleus on the shell of the atoms there is an electron which is a negatively charged particle and the nucleus comprises of protons and neutrons the protons is positive charge while neutrons has no charge so proton plus neutrons is are called nucleons and of course electrons which is the negatively charged part of the atoms is the one that is involved in a chemical reaction and for the neutral atoms that is the atom that doesn't have positive and negative charge the number of protons and neutrons are the same history of atomic structure the history of atomic structure started in the 80s years by a philosopher democritus the person which is the democritus democritus was the first person to propose that matter is co is composed of atoms he also coined the word atomos means indivisible so this democritus is the first person that proposed that matter is made up of an atoms like i human being as a matter is an atoms that made me stone and everything that we know on earth are made up of atoms according to democritus and atoms means indivisible that is something that cannot be divided the these three fundamental particles of the atoms have their charges and mass in gram and atomic mass units the charge of protons is plus one the neutron is zero meaning that it doesn't have charge while the electrons is negative charge the mass of proton and neutrons are the same which is 1.62 1.6727 times 10 raised to the power of minus 24 gram and of course the mass of electron is 9.110 times 10 raised to the power of 28 while in the using atomic mass units the mass of proton and neutrons is 1.007316 while that of the neutrons is 1.008701 and the mass of electrons is 2000 less than that of the protons and neutrons then the representation of atom this is a representation of atom and the atom has a symbol the mass number and atomic number so you see the arrow on the left indicates the symbol of the element x so x represent a symbol of an element while the superscript which is a they represent the mass number and what is the mass number of an atoms as in brackets the number of protons plus neutrons so when you add the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of the atoms it will give you the mass number of the atom and then the atomic number is the number of protons so atomic number always means the number of protons that is the total number of positive charge that are found in the nucleus of the atom this is a typical example so you see na here represents the symbol of an element sodium and then the mass number of sodium is 23 while the atomic number is 11. so like for example since the atomic number here is 11 means that the number of protons is also 11 so look at this uh, examples where we have a sodium plus the mass is 23 and the atomic number is 11 
So you can see that the number of protons is 11, which reflects exactly the atomic number of the atom. And then the mass number of neutrons, sorry, the number of neutrons is equal to 12. And how did we come up with this 12 is by subtracting 11 from 23. So 23 minus 11, it will give us 12. And then the number of electrons is equal to 10. So why? Remember from the Fourier's uh, explanation we say that the number of protons and neutrons are equal when the element is neutral so in this case sodium is not neutral because it has plus one which means that it lost one electron so therefore the number of electrons will decrease by one so that is why the number of protons is 11 and then the number of electrons is equal to 10. then the next thing that we are going to look at is john Dalton and atomic theory. Dalton's atomic theory was a scientific theory on the nature of matter put forward by an English physicist and chemist called John Dalton in the year 1808. So John Dalton is an English scientist that first proposed the atomic theory. And of course, as we said previously, we should actually put at the back of our mind that the electron is made of the atom is made up of three fundamental particles. So let's look at this Dalton's atomic theory. Number one, the basic postulate of the theory are A. Matter is made up of extremely sm small discrete particles called atoms. So everything that is actually on Earth is made up of an atoms. And then atoms of a particular element are similar in all respects in terms of their size, shift, mass, and structure. Meaning that atoms of the same element have the same size, the same shape, the same mass, and similar structure. And then atoms of one element differ from other elements in all aspects. That is, they differ in size, shift, mass, and structure and then number d atoms are indivisible that is they cannot further be subdivided e atoms are indestructible that is they can neither be created nor be destroyed atoms is the unit of a chemical reaction that is it is the smallest particle that is taking place in a chemical reaction and then atoms of the prime element combined with each other in a simple whole number ratio. So what does that mean? So the first one, at matter is made up of an atom. So everything on earth is made up of atoms like human, like books, anything that we know, it means that it is made up of atoms. And then atoms of the same element or atoms of a particular element are the same, like for example, a sodium elements like for example it has so many atoms so because atoms of sodium are the same so it means that the forces the same size the same shape mass and similar and then atoms of one element differ from other element in all aspects it means that the atoms that are in sodium are differ from the atoms that are in chlorine so they differ in size they differ in shape mass and structure and then atoms are indivisible meaning that they cannot be divided as a sodium atoms mean that sodium atom cannot be divided into two or more then atoms are indestructibility that is they are indestructible that is they can neither be created nor destroyed meaning that if you have sodium it will remain as sodium so it cannot be destroyed to another element and then atoms is the basic unit of all chemical reaction so if in any chemical reactions atoms they are the actually uh, particles that are involved in that chemical reaction without atoms no chemical reaction and then atoms of different elements combined with each other in a simple whole number ratio like for example in the case of hydrogen plus oxygen we have water molecules meaning that two ratio or two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecules of oxygen to produce two molecules of water so then what are the limitations of the dalton's atomic theory number one uh, 
the Dalton's atomic theory suffered the following uh, limitation. Number E, it could not be explained by Lusa's law of combining volumes. Remember that Guy Lussac's law of combining volume is a theory that states that the equal volume of all gases under the same temperature and pressure combined the same number of molecules. So uh, the Dalton's atomic theory couldn't be explained by Guy Lussac's law of combining volumes. Then B, it could not explain why and how do atoms combine together to form a compound. So Dalton's atomic theory did not actually provide a room of explaining how atoms combined to form a compound. Then C, it could not explain the nature of a... Uh, so these are, these are actually the limitations. So uh, And then the next one that we are going to look at is the modern D position of the theory. A, atoms is the smallest particles which cannot exist in free states and then b atoms of this uh, atom of atom of a element cannot be, be similar and might differ in size shape mass and chemical properties it means that even within the same atoms or within the same element the atoms might not be similar they may be differ in size they may be different differ in shape they may be different in chemical properties. Like for example, carbon exists in three types. One type has a mass of one atomic mass unit. Second has a mass of 13 atomic mass unit. And the third type has a relative mass of 14 atomic mass units. So it means that the, it couldn't actually explain the concept of an isotope. So therefore, even within an element, within atoms of the same element you can have that variation so atoms of one element might be similar to another in relative masses so like for example uh, calcium and argon have similar atomic masses but of course they have different atomic number so this is actually the third modern theory then atoms is divisible and further can be subdivided into smaller particles such as electrons protons and neutrons besides these several other particles are known to exist in an atom then atom is destructible so the mass can be converted into energy according to instant equation that is the instant equation is e equals to m c square so this is actually some of this modern uh, theory.